Tensions between China and the UK may be subsiding as Michael Gove thanked the communist state for its help during the coronavirus crisis following critical comments he made of the country last week. Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster Michael Gove explained the progress the UK is making on testing and equipment while also thanking China for their contributions during the Saturday coronavirus briefing. Mr Gove noted that China had contributed 300 ventilators that had arrived in the UK on Saturday. These statements come after Michael Gove was critical of China for hiding the true scale of coronavirus early into the pandemic. He said, we are also increasing the NHS capacity to deploy invasive ventilators. We have been buying invasive ventilators from partners abroad including Germany and Switzerland. Today 300 new vent- I would like to thank the Chinese government for their support in securing that capacity. This comes after Mr. Gove last week ruthlessly criticized the Chinese government and accused them of slowing the UK's ability to respond to coronavirus and increase testing. While on the Andrew Marr show Mr. Gove said, we have been increasing the number of tests over the last month. It was the case that the first case of coronavirus was established in December last year. But it was also the case that some of the reporting from China was not clear about the scale, the nature and the infectiousness of this. The Chinese government has been accused of silencing the doctor who first raised the issue of coronavirus late last year. The communist state has also faced skepticism relating to the number of cases the country has. A senior Downing Street official also told the Mail on Sunday that China would face a reckoning from the UK after the pandemic has been resolved. The official said, of course, the priority now is to deal with the crisis. But everybody knows there's a reckoning when all this is over. During the briefing, Mr. Gove also explained the government's strategy moving forward. Mr. Gove said, as the Health Secretary Matt Hancock outlined on Thursday we have a strategy to increase our testing number to 100,000 a day. Testing is a critical part of the clinical path that we all follow in seeking to reduce the impact of COVID-19. But the next vital step is an appropriate pharmaceutical treatment. That is why as the health secretary explained, clinical trials are now taking place to see if antivirals that helped in the fight against HIV and anti-malarial medicine such as hydroxychloroquine can reliably...